the thing that scares me about the nuclear threat from Vladimir Putin is that I feel like he can't lose this war. And the American position is that he must lose. He must completely lose the war and retreat and give Ukraine all back to Ukraine. And it's like, however you feel about that, that's just not going to happen. That's not going to happen. He's not handing the whole thing back over. And you may think that's wrong, and I kind of think it's wrong too. I don't know. I think maybe he should keep Donbass. I don't really know. But it's like, it's not going to happen. And he, Joe Biden is acting like this is, it, it's, he must win this war. But that's not really true. Like, we don't really need it. But Vladimir Putin does need it. He can't lose a war right on his border. You know, like that's a different type of thing to give up. And so now he's saying that if the territory of Russia is infringed on, he will use nuclear weapons. And he said straight up, this is not a bluff. He goes, this is not a bluff. I will use nukes. He's just said this the other day. And then Zelensky goes on on, and, and gives a speech. And Zelensky says that his standard is not just that Russia has to retreat and give back all the territory to Ukraine, but that Russia must be punished for the aggression into Ukraine. And then Zelensky says that if Russia even thinks about using nukes, that the other nuclear armed countries should use their nukes against Russia. And you're just like, dude, what the fuck are we talking about here? And like, I'm sorry, no, no, we shouldn't. We shouldn't use nukes against Russia preemptively because this Zelensky guy wants us to. These, the people that we have that run the country, there's not one thing that you point to and you go, well, they're fucking awesome at that, <laughs> right? Not one thing, not one thing where you're like, I have full trust in them when it comes to that. Not a single thing. Not a single thing. Yet we're entrusting them with the biggest, most important thing ever. Yeah. Avoiding a nuclear war. Imagine how crazy that is. Now imagine what kind of person wants that job, like these unexceptional people that we're talking about Mm -hmm. before. These aren't the people that are like the thought leaders of the world. These are the people that win the popularity contests. And a lot of them are winning because they're connected to whatever the fucking current hive mind ideology is and they pump up and they use these words and they say the certain things that that group is saying whether it's on the right or the left that's what a lot of these people are doing it's kind of and it's, it's kind of, of the flaw it's, it's a flaw in in the democratic process in a way yes because it's like well i'll just play to the most low information you know right. voters who really outnumber the high information voters you know what's going to change you know, that what's that Mind reading, yeah, maybe. Oh, maybe that. That's, maybe that's what, that's what we got to hope for. Dude. Let's hope that comes before the, uh, the, the nuclear war comes. I think 